passengers flying out of Hong Kong's airport will have to pay an extra fee, although it will be lower than previously expected. The levy is to help build the third runway at Cheklap Kok, and it could come into effect from the middle of next year. There was a public outcry when the airport authority suggested charging every departing passenger $180 as a way to help meet costs of building a third runway at Cheklap Kok. The authority announced today it is still sticking to its plans to charge an airport construction fee or ACF, but the levy has been lowered in its revised plans. For short-haul economy trips, the fee has been lowered to $90, while those travelling in first or business class will have to fork out $160. For long-haul flights, economy travellers will be charged $160, and first or business class will have to pay $180. Transit passengers cannot escape the levy either. They will have to pay $70. As a result of the reduced fees, the authority now has to borrow $69 billion, up from the original $53 billion. The rest of the construction costs will be covered by the authority's operational surplus. The overall costs remain at an estimated $141.5 billion. Mexico has asked us uh, to consider whether or not uh, we could uh, increase our borrowing and then also lower uh, the level of uh, ACF. Uh, so after that, uh, we have also received a lot of uh, views from the travel industry uh, wishing that we could also uh, uh, see a way to reduce the level of ACF. Uh, while nobody likes to uh, pay any new fees, I believe that this latest proposal uh, could be accepted by both the airline and the travel industry as well as the passengers. The fees are expected to be in place by the middle of next year. Our plan is to start collecting the ACF uh, after we have completed the tool that settle process, which obviously will depend on uh, when Mexico is going to uh, make, a, uh, make a decision. Uh, we, we do not actually have uh, a complete control of that, uh, but our, uh, our view is that it's probably going to be sometime uh, next year. Lam added that the levy will remain until the authority has repaid all its debts, which could be until 2028 or even 2030.